Alright, y'all. Right, yeah, we are on our way to Ideal Diner. My name is Makai. We got Gio right here, too. Uber driver Gio. Y'all know the fuck, man. Hey, we're on our way to get some food, some breakfast. We're hungry. It's literally just down the street. To the left. Gotta let them know where the fuck it is. <laughs> If y'all are wondering, it is over northeast of Minneapolis, um, down Central Avenue. So if you're in that area, oh, there, oh, there it is right there. Yeah. Nigga, oh. So we're we just gonna pass it. So we're just gonna pass it. Don't record this part. Nah, nah, we recording this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's trying to kill us. Bro, he fucked up the whole YouTube. Oh my he's gosh. Well, we almost, we almost died. We almost died. Gio kicked me out. He's making me get the food. It's whatever he drove. It's fine. So I'm here. About to eat. About to eat. About to get me some food. This ideal diner. It's like an old style. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, y'all. We're hype. I got my pancakes right here. They're homemade. Super flat and thin, but really flavorful. Now that omelet looks fire for Gio. He's happy as hell right there. <laughs> I think so. Anyway, we got the omelet, we got the French toast, hash browns, and I got my bacon toast right there, hash browns and scrambled eggs too. So we it's bought you the working man. He it's called Yeah, no sure, sure, sure. It's called the working man for like that combination, like the bacon toast eggs. You can choose ham too or whatever meat you want, but I got bacon. And then he got the ideal omelet, which is like their signature omelet. I forgot what all comes in there, but we're about to find out in a second. <laughs> Alright, so I'm ready to eat. I don't know about you. I'm about to dive in right now. Let's get this shit. This is uh, syrup over the pancakes. What is that? That's butter. I don't really fuck with it like that, but if you want some, you can have it. What the fuck? It's yeah, some shit. Yeah, it looks like a, look like a drug test sample right there. Oh, you just fucked uh, <laughs> I don't know what they got going on, but everything else looks good, though. My so. butter don't look like that. Hold on. You, got, you don't have butter sauce? You don't have butter juice? <laughs> but no, ain't I butter got, juice. I got butter. Ah, oh, okay. Wow. That's, <laughs> and, you know, that, okay. All right. What else? Gio and I were talking about this like random stuff from high school, and I'm like, actually, hold on, let me get a bite. Mm. Bro, why, why you? He ain't got no, no ketchup. He was like, you got hot sauce, bro. I was like, do I have hot sauce? I grabbed the hot sauce. He said, you got ketchup. I said, do I have ketchup? Looked in the fridge. I didn't, I was like, Gio, I don't have any ketchup for you. I'm sorry. Well, his hash runs a little bit dry. He got hot sauce on it though. It's okay. It'll be alright. Just may on your chest. You'll be okay. You got it. This bacon right here is a little, it's a little flimsy, but it's still good though. Like I like the applewood bacon. Can't be picky. Bacon can't be choosy. You feel me? No, but it's still good though. It's still like really good. Me and G were talking about back in high school how we would get lazy. If you know me would... in high school, you know I was in everybody class. He was in everybody's gym. I was everybody's in... lunch. I was one of them. He was one of them, but and I still okay. graduated. It's okay. He still graduated. I still made it too. With a two point oh. Probably it don't matter. You graduated. <laughs> <laughs> it don't even matter what you got. You graduated, so probably was a two point oh. Shit. We were talking about how lazy and like funny we used to be and stuff. And I don't know about you guys. Actually, I do know about a lot of you guys that did the same thing. Did y'all ever like get your report card because you would get home before your parents did, and then you would hide it? Because you knew, especially senior year. Was y'all out here stealing y'all report cards? Right. Because technically it wasn't yours. It was like assigned or like mailed to your parents or guardian, whoever. So I remember there was one time I opened mine up. And it was like freshman year. I wasn't even worried about it, but I opened mine up. And my dad was like, why you open up my mail? I was like, your mail? And he was like, look. And I was like, oh, I mean, I guess it is assigned to y'all. But senior year? Mm -mm. Bro, listen, my mama ain't seen a report card since I was in, like, seventh grade. <laughs> well, like, especially senior year, though, because we all had, like, that senior writer stuff. Nobody was trying, so, especially since I knew I was graduating, I was like, it don't matter. I'm not had, thinking about it. I had senior writer since freshman year. <laughs> 
bro had senior itis since eighth grade. <laughs> what came in? Or car? Mm, I don't know. We never got it yet, mom. Yeah, my, mama, my mama never even questioned it though. It's like my parents always questioned it. I think she asked like one time after that. Really? She asked no more. Or how they would always call home like with the automated system saying like, "Oh, your 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 child, Makai Taylor," or they'd say Mecky Taylor because it always messed up my name. But it's missing during the following period. First, second, third, fourth. <laughs> Damn. No, it wasn't that bad, but. It was for me. The only thing I would skip was first period, senior year, because I had ceramics. And if you have ceramics at South High School, Minneapolis, you already knew you just had to show up the last day, make a pot, get an A. So. But they used to always get on me, like, so why were you missing? I, like, I don't know. I, I was there. I don't know why he didn't get me during attendance. Like, they had an attitude, then I got an attitude back. And they were like, oh, okay, my bad. No, forget that. I lied. I've always been a bad kid. <laughs> when I say you were a bad kid, you refused to leave, though. I'm not a bad kid. What are you talking about? Yeah, I know this man since third grade. One of the baddest kids in class. He a damn lie. He was a bad influence on my life. He might not be too bad if I'm still around. <laughs> <laughs> He turned his life around. He went on Beyond Scare Straight, you know, did the whole program, made it through, turned Jeez. his life around, and, you know. You want to go on there? Nah, bro, I'm... I can't. The door's okay. not open all the way. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I don't need to go on there. You can't eat good food like this in there, so. You mm. get, you get bread, bologna, All the nutrients you need, but no flavor. And cheese, that's it. Mm-mm. What's a choke sandwich? I'm trying to die out here. You said a choke sandwich? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's going on? A choke sandwich. <laughs> you want water? Yeah, you damn skippy. I want some water. I ain't gonna lie. These French toast dry as hell. Bro. Man, I do. Y'all messing up today. The day we did the video. Well, I got a question. So do you, do you drink while you eat? Or do you eat and then you drink? Uh, okay, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, you drink while you eat. I don't care who you are, what your preference is. You are supposed to drink while you eat. That's how you die if you don't. I get like drinking more after you're done because it's like you don't have the food to worry about anymore. But you drink as you eat. I'm very passionate about this. No. Anything food related. Bro, it don't work like that. What do you mean? Because when you drink, it's indicating that you're done with your meal. No. Yes. Says who? Me, in, they said that in prison? I ain't never been there. <laughs> Fuck him. I don't know. I do both, but I usually drink a little bit as I'm eating and then finish my drink when I'm done. So I guess it kind of, like, I guess it kind of does indicate that you're done when you finish your drink. But I still drink, like, a little bit here and there. I got a question, though. Another food related question. What's happening with you, boy? It's one of those questions that'll fuck you up, but it's, like, low key a good question and funny. It's a hot dog and sandwich. <laughs> I don't know. I want to know what you think. Uh, technically, I guess. Shit. It's a huge debate going on right now. Why do you think it is? Is it? That's what I'm saying. Like, because I feel like my first answer was no. Because I, mean, I, I feel like when I think of a no, my bad. What are, you, what are you saying? It could be classified as one. That's what I think too. I just feel like my default answer at first was no because when I think of a sandwich, I picture like two pieces of bread and then whatever else you have in the middle. It's like if it's like meat or whatever. I, that's how I picture a sandwich. But then the argument for like a hot dog being a sandwich is that even though it's one bun, it's still like wrapping around it or whatever. So it's like you see like the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, like, well, technically that classifies a sandwich. And then I was like, well, shoot, I don't even know anymore. I don't know. I feel like my whole life is a lie. No, nah, I, I think it's just in. The, I think it's in its own category. That's what I think too. And then there are people talking about like, okay, well then it's a it's a taco with sandwich then, like a hard shell taco. All right, now they tripping. <laughs> but like, that's what I said. Then I was like, actually, is it? Because then that would follow the. Hot nah, taco. it's not no damn taco motherfucking burger sandwich. What the fuck? But Hell they make uh, taco burgers, and that's a sandwich. Yeah, that's a sandwich because it's on a burger. But why does it matter? I don't know, but there ain't no damn, damn taco <laughs> ain't no burger. But then the other argument, too, is like, at least for hot dogs, 
because it's like one bun again and some people are like nah that's not a sandwich if you think about it when you go to subway or get like a sub style sandwich that's uh-huh. like the same thing it's just one like technically like one piece of bread who the hell told you this shit i i'm whooped that yes i know some weird people yeah you one not of me them. I, i'm just you, you one know. of them nah, i don't know no 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 I don't know how the fuck you pick this up. I'm struggling. <laughs> Ideal is uh, it's, it's not as good favorite. as it. It is a fan favorite. Today could have been better, but we're trying to go to new uh, new places. But we really wanted to show. Matter of fact, this was a request too from my friend from Concordia, Michaela. Um, I used to always put this on my story when I was. Hey, young. Michaela! Thank Shout you out to Michaela. She gave us an idea. You guys all gave us ideas, and we're going to take them all. Thank you for supporting us. Absolutely. And we appreciate it. So we had to do this for you. But this last bite, you know. You know your last bite already? You know how I get down, bro. I've been talking too much. I still got all this food. Half my pancakes there. Came with three. And I got all my hash browns. I usually eat fast in this, but. But he don't eat faster than me. Ever. I always think I eat fast unless I'm eating with Gio or Levi from the, the last video. They always out eat me. I'm just like, dang, I thought I was at the eating champion around here. It's always a competition when I come around. The funny thing is, too, last time, like for the last uh, Beat Up's Burger video, I walked into you guys' apartment. Levi was like, oh, what's up? What y'all about to do? And he said, you know, whenever you see this man, Makai, we about to eat. And I was like, dang, that's actually true. It's a fact. You and I felt, I felt embarrassed and proud at the same time. <laughs> that just shows uh, who I really am. <laughs> Louisiana. Oh, shit, my bad. Louisiana, best hot sauce, by the way. Wait, don't they trying to get a sponsorship? Hey, I'm just, whatever I can do out here, we gonna do it. Louisiana hot sauce, definitely not the best. You know, you know it's Christmas. Tabasco. Tabasco? Don't say Tabasco, bro. Tabasco. You know they, you know they make cigarettes, cigarettes and motherfucking hot sauce. Hey, that's a two in one. <laughs> so another thing we forgot to touch on. It's hot. What? Them inside the house? Yeah, it is kind of hot. Here right now. Good because you know you ain't got no there. <laughs> so why would no go see this? I'm like fuck him. <laughs> Y'all, disclaimer, probably <laughs> unrelated, but I I'm haven't just, had... I'm just playing if y'all see this, Mrs. Taylor, Mr. Taylor. I haven't had air conditioning in this house in like a good three summers. Maybe four. It's hard out here. Every summer I get happy because the snow is finally going. But then, the house be hot, bro. I only got one fan. One fan. In the last video, we talked about how me and Gio rank burgers all the time. We never really said what those rankings were. We put it on our Instagram story, but in case you guys didn't see that, um, I don't know if you want to start or what. He's a tracker right now. Anyway, my first. Huh? What? Bro, this. I'm looking for more co-stars, nah, by the way. Nah, listen. Listen. Uh, bro, hear me out. What? what the fuck is wrong with people? I was, a uh, lot, a you lot know that little anonymous shit that's going on on Snapchat? Mm-hmm. That shit is interesting. People would be on here fooling. Anybody would do anything if they're anonymous. Bro, you know, I, I'm just a little busy right now. Living their high life. The burgers. You can start out or I can. It don't matter. Go ahead. I'll so, follow your lead. I'm, I'm scared because I forgot what I posted. I feel like it might have changed a little bit now after I thought about it a little bit more. Number one for me, I think, would be Matt's. Bar, home of the Juicy Lucy in um, South Minneapolis on Cedar Avenue. Really, really good. I still got to try the Five Eights Club, though, to kind of compare. They're both, like, the official or original place for the Juicy Lucy. You're supposed to try to go to both places and compare to see who has the better one. Uh, but I've only been to Matt's, but that's number one. Number two, uh, I think number two for me would be... This Damn, place one of my bitches about to come back. I mean... <laughs> number two, <laughs> two I think might be the Nook it's in St. Paul they also have Juicy Lucy's too um, other than that like their other burgers are still pretty good I've only been there once but it was really really good and I, you know it's been years but I still remember it so that's number two number three I'm gonna go a little bit more basic and say Five Guys Five Guys if you just bro, want bro listen I've, I've seen this shit on Twitter bro hmm. you know how to make that grilled cheese 
Yeah, they use some mayonnaise, don't they? Nah, nah. You know how? Because, of course, you know, because Annika, she get the grilled cheese. Annika, My girlfriend's a vegetarian. Annika, Annika. I don't Shout know out to Annika. why you go there just to get grilled cheese. It was one time, and it was a learning experience for both of us. She, uh, A friend of hers told her that the grilled cheese there is amazing, so she tried it. And um, I'm going to post a photo of that at the end here. It's. It's going to speak for Nah, but listen, though. Listen, I seen this on Twitter. You know how they make the grilled cheeses. It, they flip the bun inside out, right? Mm-hmm. I seen them make a burger like that. I said, I'm going to start requesting that. That shit look be good as hell, bro. That, Jesus. Wait, so you can do that at Five Guys, though? You can I guess that. so. Just be like, flip my bun. All right, so flip we might. Flip my bun inside out. Oh, wait, what? Flip the bun inside out. I don't, you know, I don't. <laughs> five Guys is off the chart now. I don't want the number. No, I'm, <laughs> number three, I'm going to go basic and say Five Guys. Number four, I know the two that I have for my for like the rest of my top five. Now I'm <laughs> confused though, because I think I'm gonna say Buffalo Wild Wings again for now, just again from that last video. That's pretty good. You can't lie. You can't lie. You can't tell me you weren't surprised. But they're not top five yet. For me, right now, in time, they are. Yeah, the number five, I'm going to say Shake Shack. Fire, I think I used to praise it too much. It is a little bit overrated. It's really good. Um, it's still in my top five. I don't have no order. But I'm going to be smart and actually go and find my stuff because I'm not going to be out here. Well, my phone's being used to record, so I couldn't do that. A second. All right, my, my top five. I ain't got no order. But Shake Shack, Five Guys, Flame Burger. Is that what I said? I heard Flame Burger is really fucking good. I said Flame Burger? I think you did say Flame Burger. You said nah, Red I... Robin. No, no, no. What the fuck? What Maybe it wasn't Flame Burger, but there was another. Um... I, I, know, I know which one I'm talking about, but I don't, I don't know the name exactly. I, I think I know what you're talking about, too. Um. I don't know, but I heard Flame Burger is really good. I didn't mean Flame Burger. A friend of mine, after the first video, told me to try that out too. So I'm gonna have to definitely make a video for that as well. Uh, but let me let me find this this one burger out. But and then uh, Red Robin, and then all uh, the hood corner stores. You know they fool undefeated all the time with anything. I feel like I've never had like a hood burger. Like yeah. whenever I go to like a hood corner store, I get the wings for sure. You ain't never got drunk and went to go get a burger. I mean, yes. Or right, get some food. Yeah, but not like a burger. Besides, like McDonald's or something. Usually, if I'm drunk, I go to. Which oh, is bro, rare. you ever had a drunk burrito? Which is rarely. Have you ever had a drunk burrito? Mm-mm. Oh my gosh! A drunk is it, is it called a drunk burrito? No, but it, it's just like getting a burrito when you're drunk. Oh, it's oh. called Fud Ruckers. That's what I mean. But oh, that's what I mean. I want to try that. I heard that's really good too. Yeah. My friend Chico also told me about this place. Oh, I forgot forgot the name he took me there him and my friend michelle too this place in i think it's in west st paul or around that area it was really good they like have all kinds of burgers i had like some kind of um i, I forgot well you got a lot of friends 